In a moment here, we're going to get to a pretty exciting mod that doesn't just add a world space to New Vegas, but actually integrates it in the most seamless way possible by increasing the playable area of the base game. Before that though, I have to show you this hilariously fun and perhaps a bit overpowered weapon mod that adds in throwable explosive spears by expanding upon the game's vanilla spear throwing system. Throwable explosive spears, aka Mad Max Thundersticks, as of update 1.2 includes 19 different types of throwable spears that make use of most of the game's vanilla explosives, including explosives added by the DLCs. I am also using the clean animations patch, and the look of holding and throwing these spears was amazing. I felt like an irradiated Zeus clapping the cheeks of those who dared to exist in front of me in any general direction. Apparently the courier was Tom Brady in a different life because you launch these things from your arm, like Spartacus in that old Stars TV series, if you know you know. This is honestly a great recent release to add variety to the weapon choices New Vegas offers. Spears were often an afterthought, I would get them in the initial dump of DLC's early game, usually throw them at some rad scorpions for XP, or throw them at Chet for caps, and then never use them again. Now you can craft explosives from them and turn them into a massive AoE type weapon that has far more accuracy and range than most other explosives in game, but they lack any control on the timing of the explosion. You throw and it blow so no going back once you deploy your death stick. Now we can get to the meat and potatoes of the video, the bulky mod that adds an enormous world space to the base game of New Vegas. Nova Arizona is a project that aims to fulfill the wet dreams of many New Vegas goofballs, me included. This mod does not just add in a new world space separate from the base game, like the DLCs do where you must load to a new area. You will see in the footage that I can see the strip and the peaks of Mount Charleston, where Jacobstown is, and more of the New Vegas game world from the new area added by this mod. You can walk directly to this area, or swim for that matter to cross Lake Mead or the Colorado River, but no loading screen is going to separate this area from the normal game. The idea is to add land that the Legion controls and give us a look as to what their world is like beyond the fort and the Legates camp. More importantly, this mod aims to be lore friendly and remains true to cut content from New Vegas or aspects from Van Buren when it needs to, which is the cancelled Fallout 3, and that would have included the Legion and this territory had it not been canned. Their aim is to do what Obsidian likely would have wanted to do had they been given more time to complete New Vegas. For those who do not know, New Vegas suffered immense cut content, the Legion was a major victim of this reality, leaving the faction quite mysterious, but also lacking if you were to side with them over the NCR house or going for an independent Vegas. The Legion were meant to add to the conversation or questions posed to the player in the main questline more. Yes, the NCR aligns with modern morals and values of the Western world, and yes, House offers a glimpse into an interesting future for the Wasteland, but the Legion was meant to offer a perspective of might making right and safety over freedom in a harsh world. Perhaps because the world has been reset in many ways, it needs an older approach to governance. That question is for you to answer as the player, and this mod aims to bring that essence to the Legion as it was largely left out or unexplored in the base game. This mod is in beta, meaning it is not done. They have detailed percentages for what is completed, and as you can see, the world space is nearly finished, and if you're interested in exploring it, you don't have to wait until the mod is out of the beta. I would recommend making a backup save, so if you decide the mod is not ready enough or conflicts with your current load order, you can safely remove the mod and reload your backup save. I am a sucker for the high-rise highways of the Fallout universe, and this mod decided to make excellent use of them. The locations are unique to the base game, they contain NPCs, and offer a large set of new areas to explore. There are many aspects of the mod that are incomplete, however, and you may notice some more than others, depending on your tolerance for certain things. For example, there is no voice acting for the newly added dialogue. This is a mark against the mod for me because it immediately reinforces that this is a mod for the game and cheapens the experience a bit. You may not mind that kind of thing as much, or you might have an easier time avoiding it and just focusing on the exploration. You also might just want more legionaries to kill while invading Legion Homeland with Boone, and you can definitely use this mod in its current form for that sort of thing. Lots of locations and a vast world to explore, as you can see on the map, and I love that the mod simply expands the playable area beyond the Colorado. This mod makes the base game's area larger, which I'm not sure I have ever seen from another mod, 
and certainly not on this scale with this level of polish. I look forward to seeing future updates for this mod, and if and when those come, I'll definitely be interested in covering the mod once again. Last week I showed you the animated monorail mod, but this week I have an upgrade to offer you with immersive McCarran strip monorail travel by the same mod author. I did not, but you might also want to grab the English patch as the base mod comes in Espanol. Doesn't really make a difference though, you don't need to read to figure out that you just need to press your select or enter key to get in the monorail. This mod allows you to ride the monorail and also implements the same animated monorail moving regularly along the tracks like I showed in the last video. It's an impressive mod that does something the base game could have used. Historically I rarely use the monorail, but if I'm in McCarran or need to go there from the strip, I'll be more likely to remember the monorail option with this mod. This would be a great way to finally enter the strip if you're a first time player, as it offers a much more cinematic entrance to the famed location, rather than just popping through a shitty scrap gate as you step over the remains of the guy the Securitrons just gunned down. Unfortunately, your camera is locked, so you can't move your character or look around during the ride. You're locked in a fixed position. Still, an awesome mod, and the fact that it animates the monorail while you're not riding it makes it an easy install choice for me. Simple question, do you want your night sky in New Vegas to look really good? If yes, go ahead and follow the link to Accurate NASA Stars to add this amazing looking night sky to your game. If there is one thing an apocalypse might help out with, it's light pollution. Now that the Vegas Strip is a tiny little sliver instead of a bustling city with an enormous amount of light emitting from it, why wouldn't the sky return to its natural state of visibility? I am using this in combination with Desert Natural Weathers and the base version of New Vegas Reloaded, specifically the March 29th, 2024 version under nightly builds in their Discord. Regardless, this mod makes the night sky look great. Throughout testing not only this mod but others, I found myself constantly looking up to the great dark abyss that is now dotted with an array of attractive stars glimmering in the night sky. This very well could be a lock in my load order from now on. Next up, I'm going to hit you with a few mods that really bring Securitrons to life. I have three mods, two of which work together, the other one does not work with either in my testing. If you can patch it yourself or find another patch, feel free to share. Starting off, this first mod blew my mind as it's something so subtle I never thought I needed in New Vegas, but if there is ever a remake, this must be included. New Vegas Securitron's lip sync does exactly what it says, animating the faces and more specifically the mouths of Securitrons, and it does this for almost every Securitron based NPC or character, including Victor, Yes Man, and Mr. House. On the downside though, it seems Mr. House is only animated while in Securitron form. I did not see his animation in use on his big screen in the Lucky 38. This amazing little mod can be used with Securitrons on alert, which has the Securitrons changing color based on the state of their hostility. If they are chill, you know it, and when they're angry, you know it, based on this nice little visual indication. Pairing these two little mods together breathes much needed life into the robotic husks of the Securitrons. The alternative option I have for you is for those who want something a bit more colorful, and this simple retexture mod, Better Mr. House and Securitrons, does exactly that. This brings vibrant color to the Securitrons along with Mr. House on the big screen and in the tube, not to mention DLC Securitrons as well. Like I said, I tried combining all three of these together or even using the animated lip sync mod with this Better Mr. House and Securitrons one, and it did not work. All I could accomplish was either using the first two together or this one alone, so the choice is yours. Perhaps you want more animation than color, or maybe the newly colored textures captured your eye and swayed your mind. Another side note here, if you use the first two, you must delete a couple files from the lip sync mod. Make sure you read the description of all mod pages, especially this one though, for the instructions because you cannot just install both of these mods with your mod manager and play. It's very simple though, do not be discouraged if you want to use lip sync and Securitrons on alert together. Okay, here we go again with another set of mods. This time though, we will turn our focus from the Securitrons to the user interface. If you have seen my other videos, you know I am a sucker for maps. I love the layout and structure of New Vegas' world and how that translates to a map. The two mods, Map Marker Icons and Colorful Map Marker Icons, help expand upon that vision and complements the base game's map excellently. The former mod is doing most of the work here, adding in and replacing 87 generic map markers for these far more unique and distinguishable icons. So, this mod is going to retexture what exists and also replace much of those icons with something more fitting to the location. The colorful addition we can pair with this simply adds colors to those location icons, bringing even more visual variety to the map. 
Some players might think the colored in version looks like the tricks are for kids rabbit threw up all over their map, and that's fair. Just do not install that mod and use the base one as is. I am using the JHC Tweaks optional file from Map Marker Icons, which makes the icons just a little bit bigger. This mod isn't just for the looks as it makes navigating the map much more functional as things are distinguished by symbol and color. My recollection of this 14 year old map is better than I would like to admit. I could probably find a random location by just the name easier in this game than I could in real life. So if that's you too, this probably isn't going to change your experience in that regard, but it still looks great and I appreciate the faction dedicated icons that help illustrate zones of control. Adding another simple addition to the UI is another pair of mods, Modern New Vegas loading interfaces along with Modern New Vegas loading interfaces reimagined for Tale of Two Wastelands in combination, and this adds a ton of really high quality artwork to the loading screens of New Vegas. Obviously, I am running a Tale of Two Wastelands mod list, so this pair helps bring the world together and display an enormous array of concept art and other pieces of artwork related to Fallout. Definitely a biased perspective, but I think Fallout has some of the coolest concept art in gaming. It has always excited my imagination and helps illustrate what the game perhaps had in mind for many of the locations and factions before they were implemented into the game world. They are not limited in scale and scope in the same way that the game is, and allow developers and fans to expand their vision or understanding of the universe. This mod will set that excellent artwork on your loading screen to give you a visual feast as you wait for the load screen to end. I honestly never thought I would wish my load times were just a little bit longer in this game sometimes. Coming up to our last mod, many were asking where my M4 mod was from in the previous mod showcase, mod mod mod, and that would mod my mod. <clears throat> anyway, that would be from the Wasteland AR pack. This author has made without a doubt my favorite weapon mods for New Vegas, some of which will not be leaving my load order unless a superior alternative is released, which is fairly unlikely. There are tons of different guns seamlessly integrated into New Vegas. You can buy them from the gun runners or find them on NPCs. The guns may not fit your taste or style as they admittedly seem very modern for New Vegas and appear out of place when compared to the vanilla weapons. I'll cover weapon mods in another video though. Hope you enjoyed the list I brought today. Let me know if there's anything I can alter about the delivery or format of these videos, and I'll take it into consideration for the next one. Thanks for watching. Mr. House is a louse, Benny wears a blouse, and I'll make Yes Man my spouse. Cut it out! Gah.